Here we are at Bandelier National Monument. We're at the Visitor Center in New Mexico. Ow. <laughs> Goodness. But the Native American Pueblos would live in there. And there. Come right out here and garden. They'd use that as bedrooms and terraces or all, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pam. Ma'am. They probably had connecting rooms, connecting apartments. Well, they yeah. did. Look, see the holes? I read about that. See the holes? That's where the beams stuck out for the roof system. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, jeez, and they got a good view, don't they? Oh, my gosh, let me see. Well, this definitely was an oven. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> made me a little dizzy there. I wobbled. Hey, Pam. Sir? This was definitely an oven, wasn't it? Yeah. Where was an oven? Yeah, the smoke blowing up and turned black. Oh. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yes. Look at the petroglyphs. Hello, y'all. And then people stood on their roofs and they carved in a room. One or two of these look kind of big, big enough to be a room, yeah. Compared to a store. But it was paradise back in the day. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, with their flowing stream all year. Oh, and they had water, food. Yes. I mean, until they, until I think they were too successful, and the population grew, and and yes, then there were several stories. And now that they may have decided to block off to keep it warmer, or who knows? Who knows why they did that? This is unreal. Yeah. <laughs> now the cliff steps back a little. If you look up back there, midway up the cliff wall, there's a small a niche, and there's a parrot, big parrot petroglyph because they did have a macaw, because they did have trade with Mexico and Central America. I was fixing to say, I didn't think Pete was the parents were native. I knew parrot Pete was, <laughs> not parrots. <laughs> the alcove house. That's an artist's interpretation of what maybe it would, the activity would have looked like in there between 1325 and 1550. And the alcove house is right up there. That's the alcove. That's the first stairs. Alcove is up there. It's as close as you're gonna get, viewers. Whew. It's beautiful. Close both eyes and imagine. <laughs> it magnifies, Mom. Okay. Native American Pueblos lived in there. Right. See that big one? Uh huh. See the lower left hand, uh, right hand down row in the corner? Oh, yeah, right there. About the door. Pouring it in the desert, they'd get blistering hot. At night, when it got cold, they'd release the heat. And they call that grid gardening? Call, call, okay. What is this? this is. I have no idea. It looks like some kind of a. Uh, oh, my gosh. That's well, uh, look, look, see, that's a honeybee. Wait a minute. Look at them. Man, you heard them, Mama? Yes. You can't hear that? Let me listen. Everybody be quiet. Let me hear. You don't hear that, homie? Pam is deaf. The hair shield undid it. Here at Bandelier State Park, this is Frijoles Creek, Spanish for the Little River of Beans. It's one of the few places on the plateau where water flows year round, and it flows downstream two and a half miles to the Rio Grande. Papa, stay me down there, bud. These cottonwood trees, you see the, the bright green? I'm not joking. Out on, out, not out, joking. Well, away from this mesa, out on the open flat desert, the, the scouts and, and, in, and Native Americans and people, the pioneers would look for that. When they saw that, the cottonwoods, they knew there was water. If they could get to a high vantage point and look down, they knew where the water was. Bandelier's 33,000 acres are only 3% of the surrounding Jemez mountain range. There's Papa Sammy. I'll be damned. The sap contains villainy, the chemical used 
and artificial vanilla. The separate tree is used to make artificial vanilla. So those big, straight, tall ponderosa pines are extremely useful here for the Native American Pueblos and also today. Bandelier National Monument. This is an Orno. It was introduced to the Native American Pueblo people in the early 17th century by the Spanish. And they would obviously cook in there. Back of the visitor center. Let's say I'm right here. Oh, Robert, you need to come in the right way. You can't over here. Let me stay. <laughs> well, I was following you. Peanut wild juniper. Trees live here because they are well enough to drop in this. Oh, it's a juniper. Right. Everything we asked about was the first thing you saw when you walked in. You come in that way. And here's your juniper. Ponderosa pine forest, too. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, ain't that something? So now we know what the hell it is. Ponderosa Pine Forest. Look at the coyote. And then the rock squirrel. And the shark lizard. That's what was in the big Yeah, thing. that's what Sammy said. If you were in Louisiana, yeah. be an alligator. Right Look here. at the squirrel's ears. That's what that thing's done. That that's, bird. that's the rock squirrel. Uh, those ears, 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 where you can hear you. <laughs> Funny looking. That was North American, American, American Wildlife. wildlife. Here's a swallow poop. There's a uh, moose out there. Elk poop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. Coyote. When, it, when, the, when the volcanoes erupted? Yeah. All the stuff that settled? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ash, but they call it tough? Yes. This is an excellent way to get 10,000 steps. Definitely adapting, making it hard for something to come and eat me. Hey, all, have fun, have a good day. No, come back.